I started drinking when I was really young, maybe around uh, 14 or 15 in high school. I started drinking right out of high school um, into college, and I was never a daily drinker, but I was a binge drinker. 27-year-old Ryan Cook and 29-year-old Jordan Shelton realized in their early 20s that alcohol had become a problem. I had met with a therapist. There would be times where I would miss sessions with her because I'd be so hungover. I was just drinking during the day, during work. I was mean to my friends. I was angry, lashing out. But today, Ryan and Jordan are in recovery, both part of a growing movement of young creators sharing their journeys on TikTok. I'm Jordan, I'm 29, and I'm an alcoholic. I've never been one to go to Alcoholics Anonymous or any sort of support group, so TikTok has been a huge support group for me. It helps me feel more empowered, and it helps me want to continue my journey. Beyond dance videos or beauty tips, TikTok has become a place for sober curiosity, with the hashtag sobriety racking up 2.2 billion views and the hashtag sober four and a half billion. Ryan started out in a 12-step program, but says she needed to connect with people who were more like her. There were just no, no black people there. The first group I went to was just um, men. And so I felt like, hey, this isn't gonna work. She then turned to social media. What made you decide to start talking about this on TikTok? It really felt like I was alone. And then it just kind of felt like, wow, no one online who looks like me is talking about this. And maybe if I share my story, it could help someone else. My best trick is that every day I wake up and say, I'm not drinking today. Jordan says she's been in and out of therapy, but uses TikTok as an outlet and a safe space to share her tips for staying sober. Tell me about the content that you choose to make. I really do like just kind of talking about the daily struggles. If, if something comes in my head and I'm thinking like, uh, I want to drink, it's really easy to just hop on TikTok and tell, just tell someone. This is the first time that I've wanted to drink. I'm like kind of disappointed in myself. So what do we do? How do we fix this? What people are watching is the power of storytelling. We're seeing it in TikTok and it's working. Dr. Tom Britton is CEO of American Addiction Centers, which has a TikTok following of more than 100,000 and more than 16 million video views. Alcohol detox is pretty much exactly the opposite of consuming alcohol. What could be the benefits from this sober, hashtag sober, hashtag sobriety community on TikTok for someone who's struggling? So if I'm hopeless and I'm alone, and suddenly I can look on my phone, and see examples of people that have gone through what I'm going through. I can have hope because I can look at them and say, you know, this guy got it. That means maybe I can get it. And then I reach out for more formal help. What can't TikTok do in terms of helping people? It's not treatment and it's not therapy. It's not medical intervention. It can't help them with trauma disorders, with mental health disorders. It's not going to do anything for any of that. Still, for Ryan and Jordan, that connection with others has made all the difference. How has sharing your story helped you stay on this journey? I'll have women who comment and say, you know, I've been doing this for 17 years, like keep going one day at a time. It's almost easier to talk to people you don't know than it is to people that you do know. So when I'm able to connect with these strangers, it kind of makes me feel like I'm in a different realm almost of support. And it's something that I think everyone needs. Oh, well. And now we reached out to TikTok for their perspective, but they had no comment. But according to a 2020 government survey, more than 44% of people who drank alcohol were classified as binge drinkers. And mm. the largest age group among them, 18 to 25 oh, year olds. Wow. So alcohol use is, of course, a concerning problem among young adults. And young adults are also, of course, the ones that are pretty, you know, True. inseparable mm. from their phone, grown up with it, social media. So our experts said TikTok's not a treatment. But of course, it's a valuable tool that can help if yeah, that's absolutely. where you're spending your time consuming content. That is the community, I yes. think. That that just it sometimes helps you get through things and seeing somebody else talk about it on their TikTok sure. account it's like yes. oh okay it's okay for me to give this a exactly. shot it doesn't yeah. need to be stigmatized that's so yeah. important because for a lot of them it's not social drinking they're just drinking to get drunk mm -hmm. or they're just drinking and mm -hmm. it doesn't stop mm -hmm. so you for know, this they make it cool to not yeah we spend a lot of time highlighting the evils of, of social media but you do a good job yeah. of, of yeah. highlighting how social media yeah. can be thank used you yes there's the definitely both well. but yeah. yes there's some good thank there. you thank you guys good to see you Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day.
or click the link right here.